These arms are probably too scrawny. Unlike other ornithomimosaurs, Dinochirus had these really substantial muscle attachment crests on its arm bones, particularly the deltoid crest of the humerus. The Collecte toy's claws make the mistake of having the entire ungule sheathed over, which looks especially weird here because the tubercle for levering the claw is large and further out than it was in other animals. But then they cover that over with horn, and no, it would have a tendon attaching to it and then scaly skin over top of that. The toy's claws also have these really flat interior surfaces. As far as I know, they should just be rounded. They, they shouldn't just be triangles, though that, again, might be a safety thing. A number of forelimb functions have been proposed over the years. They're trying to account for some seemingly contradictory details of its anatomy. It's got these long, slender arms, which would imply that it's supposed to have a long reach, but then the range of motion at the shoulder is pretty low, and the range of motion of the hand is somewhat low. The arm bones have these large muscle crests, and the hands are broad and robust with these big heavy claws. It's clearly built to withstand or produce large forces, but then the way that the hand works means that it couldn't actually grasp things. The fingers didn't oppose one another. It could only snatch. The earliest hypothesis was for meat processing. The 1970 description has the animal tearing prey asunder that's already dead or weakly agile. Either way, it's reaching down to manipulate food that is on or near the ground. In the late 80s, G.S. Paul wrote that the claws were too blunt at the end to be useful for predation. He, they would still be useful for self-defense, but he doesn't specify what non-predatory feeding purposes he had in mind. To Lee and co-authors, who described the rest of the animal in 2014, the size and shape of the arms suggested generalist use. They interpreted Dinochirus as a waiting omnivore. It would use its hands as these dredging tools to try and bring water plants towards the mouth. 